Hello friends, welcome back to another session of web technology. So, so this is in continuation with the previous video, wherein in the previous video, I already have shown you how to create cookies for the four users. So in today's video, I'm going to show you part B. So I need to authenticate four users uh, by using the uh, init param inside your web.xml okay so i need to use this init parameters to achieve this particular authentication procedure and uh, once the data is stored in web.xml inside your servlet so you're going to access this username and password by using the get init parameters method so i'm going to show you this okay store the usernames and passwords in the web.xml and access them in the servlet by using the get init parameters method. So I'm going to show you this right now. So let's get started. So this is the folder that I have created. So which is the in uh, login init uh, folder. So let me show you what is there inside. So inside this folder, so you can see that there is web hyphen INF and then I have dot html login dot html file okay inside your web inf so let me show you what is there inside web inf inside web inf i have this classes folder and then i have this web dot xml file okay so inside this classes i have this uh, cookie one dot java and cookie one dot class let me show you each and every file in detail so let me get started with the login uh, form so let me open this with a notepad. So this is the login form that I have created, which is the same. I kept it same. Um, so wherein I have named the servlet also as cookie one. Okay, so this is the action um, um, attribute, which is having a value, which is an URL. And the URL is slash cookie one. Okay, and the method is host method. Okay, so then I have a text field for taking the username. And then I have field which will be taking the password. And then I'll be having a simple submit button which will be having login written on it. So that's it. Okay. So this is my login uh, page. Okay. So wherein I have saved it here. Okay. Right. Let me now go into web hyphen IMF. So let me show you what is this web.xml. So this is a very important point uh, file to understand because uh, all the data we are going to give it in the init parameter. Okay. Let me tell you what is this init param. So this is an element within the servlet. The optional init param element contains a name value pair as an initialization parameter of the servlet. Okay. And use a separate set of init parameter tags for each parameter. You can access these parameters with the java x.servlet.servletconfig.get init parameter method. So you need to access it in this way. And uh, so the following table describes the elements you can define within an unit parameter param element. So the first tag is element is param name and the second one is param value. Okay. So these two are required fields, options, and then defines the name of the parameter and defines string value for this particular parameter. You can also have a description which is optional. So text description of the initialization parameter can also be included. So now what is the syntax? So where you need to include them? You need to include them inside the servlet tag. Okay. So inside the servlet tag, after you give the servlet name and servlet class, you just need to give the init param tag. And inside the init param tag, you will be having the param value and the param name. Okay. So this is how you need to put it in the web.xml file. So let me show you the web.xml. So this is web hyphen app and then this is a tag. Okay. So which is the opening tag and you will have a closing web app tag at the bottom. Okay. So in between you will be having the rest of the tag. So this is my servlet. Okay. So I am saying my servlet uh, so, which is uh, the name of the subject is cookie one and the name of the class is also cookie one. Okay. So, then I'm having one more tag here, which is called as init param tag. Okay. So, init param tag. So, inside the init param tag, I have two more sub tags, which are param name and param value. So, what I'm doing is I have given the 
param mean to be USR1 and the value of the param parameter to be SU1. Okay. So this is my first parameter. And my second parameter is here, wherein I have given the name to be the password one. And then the password I have changed. In the previous uh, exercise, I have given SUDA123. Now I'm giving the password to be 7892. Okay. So then this is the data of the second user. So wherein it is user2 and then CME. And I have given the password to be 789 CME. And this is the data of the third user. So here I have changed the user to Ricky. And then the password of Ricky to be Ricky123. And this is the third user. And this is the fourth user. Uh, so which is Rohan and the password is Rohan123. Okay. So once you have uh, finished giving the unique parameters, then close your servlet tab. And then we have servlet mapping. Okay. So inside the servlet mapping, you'll be having the name of the servlet, which is Google one And the URL pattern, uh, which you have given it in the action attribute of the HTML, right? You have given slash cookie one. So you just have to give the same over here also. Okay, so you can change the URL pattern to your own URL, but I'm keeping it to be the name of the server. And then finally, I have this welcome file list. Inside this welcome file list, I have given the welcome file to be login.html. Okay, so I hope everybody understood this web.xml. The only changes that I did is I have added this unit hyphen parameter tag inside it i have given the parent name and the parent value okay so for the usernames and the passwords so this is regarding your web.xml so once i have created web.xml i saved it in the web hyphen inf folder let me show you my servlet now okay so this is my servlet so let me open this dot java file and show you here uh, so this is my servlet. Okay, so the program is same. I kept the program logic to be the same. But here, instead of creating the cookies, I have got the parameters from the web.xml. So for doing that, what I did, I have taken a string, uh, eight strings, four for reading the username and four for reading the passwords. Then I said get servlet config dot get init parameter, so which will get the init parameters from web.xml. So here it is very important for us to note that the name of the parameter. So we have the param name, right? In web.xml, keep that in mind and then uh, you need to give the same name else you won't be able to get the parameter value. Okay, so this is USR1. So I need to give USR1 here. And the name of the password is PW1. So I'm putting PW1 here, okay, right. Uh, so once, um, so this is how I'm reading the four uh, usernames and passwords into the four strings, which are USR1, PW1, and so on. So the logic, I kept my logic to be same, like how I have written in the previous case. So I, I have taken a flag. Initially, the flag value will be zero. So it will become one if the username and password match them. Then I created a string array. So wherein I have kept all the user IDs. And then another array wherein I have kept all the passwords. Okay. So now I'm turning this across these four values of the user array and across these four values of the password. Okay. From the user array I. So it should match with this particular N that is taken from the text field. Okay. So from the text field, whatever value the user is giving is coming into N and the password is coming into the P variable. Okay. So P string reference object here so to n and p so whatever user have entered now this n and p are compared across these four values for the user id and across these four values for the password so it should be in this particular four values if it is not inside this it means that the user is not uh, giving the correct data or he is not an authenticated user so if the username and the password match so that's why i have given an and here so i'm changing the flag to one Okay, so uh, if it is not matching, the flag will still remain zero. So after coming out of the loop, what I did is I said flag is equal to one. If flag is equal to one, it means that this condition has become true, meaning that the username and the password are correct. Okay, so then I am welcoming the user with his or her name. So I'm saying welcome 
then I said n. I will put to give n, but I'm giving two uppercase so that the name of the user will appear in uppercase. Else, it means that flag is zero. Okay, so if flag is zero, it means that either username or password is incorrect. Okay, so then I'm saying out dot println. You are not an authenticated user. So this is my cookie one. Okay, so well, after writing my cookie one, I compiled it in the command prompt, and then I created my dot class file. Okay, so I have placed these two inside my classes folder. Okay, so this is my folder and it is complete now. So now what I'll do is I'll take this folder and keep it in the web apps of the Tomcat. Okay, friends. Uh, so this is in the Tomcat 8.5 web apps. So inside this, I have paste my folder, which is login int. So you can see that here. Okay, so this is the folder. I have placed this folder inside the web apps folder. So you can see inside this web apps folder, I have placed my login in. Okay, so now once we are done, so what we need to do, we need to start the Tomcat. So go to the bin and click on startup. Okay, so now your Tomcat is running. Go to the browser. Okay, so I have gone to the browser and type in localhost 8080. Okay, so now put a slash and give the name of the port. So what's the name of the folder? It is login int, right? So I have clicked on enter. Okay. So let me give Ricky. Okay. So I'm giving username to be Ricky. And the password is Ricky123. Okay. So as I click on login, since there is Ricky and Ricky123, we have added this username and password in the init parameters, right? So as I click on login, it will tell welcome Ricky. Okay, so let me give a wrong password. So say for example, for Ricky, I'm giving it as 567. And as I click on login, because username is correct, but password is wrong. So it is saying you are not an authenticated user. Okay, and uh, uh, say I'm, I, I, I'm giving, um, okay, Sinu, okay. So, and then what is the password? It is 7895, okay. So 789 Sinu. Okay, and then click on login. So it is say welcome soon. Okay, right. So this is how you actually authenticate the user by using the unit parameters. I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you for watching.